Hello everyone, this is my uh, just a quick video on uh, a new game I'm making for my niece. Um, she's like seven months old now, so hopefully by the time that uh, she's older, this game might actually might be complete. Um, so what I decided to make was like a top-down RPG, kind of like Pokemon. Um, so I'll show you the game. Uh, it's written in it's written in Python with Pygame. And it's called the Zelda Scrolls. Uh, that's because my niece's uh, name is Zelda. So this is the start screen. Um, we had there's a load option for loading game. I actually haven't implemented that yet. The settings haven't really done anything there, but we can go into a new game. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, all the artwork I should say, but is just stuff that I got offline. Um, it's kind of like a placeholder right now because I haven't actually, I don't know if it's like copyrighted. I'm just kind of using it to see what the basic kind of look of the game might be. So I'll end up changing that probably as, as time goes on. But so we start off as this little girl named Zelda. Um, so you can see you can move around. And there's like this little town here. Oh, we got into a battle. Um, I'm actually going to run for now just because I don't want to fight these guys. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And we're just going to go to a house. And so this is like um, a shop you can buy stuff at. So you see you have 120 gold. Uh, we can buy. So we'll buy some health potions. Gold goes down. Um, we could sell them, but we're going to keep them for now. Let's go back. Okay, and let's keep going. D creating the movement like this, where the, as you can see, the screen is scrolling along as we move. This was actually kind of embarrassingly hard. It took a while for me to get correct. I kept screwing it up. Um, this is the potion shop. So here we'll buy some spells. So they come in scrolls. I figured I'd do that since it's called the Zelda scrolls after all. So we'll buy a whirlwind, fireball, uh, and a blizzard, and more health. So you can see it's just a simple uh, sort of top-down kind of feel to it. You get random battles as you move along. So this time we'll actually fight them. Um, so you can do it like a physical attack. And then you can choose who you want to attack. So we'll just do, let's do the top guy. Attack him. Animations are pretty basic right now. But you can see he attacked back. He hit my health. Uh, let's attack him again. And one more time. And then you can see there we got XP for killing him. And now we move on to the next guy. This time let's try some cell show what the spells look like. So there's a whirlwind. He attacks me. Uh, do the blizzard. It's actually like an electrical bolt. <laughs> I'll probably uh, change the name of that. And then this is what the fireball looks like. Ooh, actually, see we're almost dead though. So let's go to our items. So we have the, ma the major health that we bought. Let's use a bunch of those. Back to full health. Attack. Physical attack, gained XP, they attack back, uh, cast, yes, I have a fireball, a fireball like that. And you can see, I haven't actually fixed all like the scaling in terms of how much damage the enemies do, and how much damage I do to them, and how much XP I get, and gold I get from them. So, but you can see there, when I use the spells, I did consume a small amount of mana, not I should be cons consuming more, but I'll kind of change how all of that works. But anyways, um, so let's attack one more time. Killed him. So we did level. Now, so the the XP went back to kind of zero. That's because that's how much XP that the purple bar. I mean, is how much XP we need for the uh, to hit our next level. So we hit tab. This is like our stat screen. So up in the top there, we have points and points is like how many points you get one point for every level so we, we just leveled there so we got one point in our bank right now uh, we hit level two and we have 67 gold so we go to stats you can see these are the stats and then say we want to increase our constitution which is like our health for this you click that and then you can, you can go back if you want but we're going to do this so if you hit level up that consumes our point so that just went down and now our constitution is level six um, which increases our total max health and now, we're, since we're out of points, if we try to do that again, say we want to increase, we try to increase intelligence. Click there. Oh, this is now grayed out. We can't actually uh, do anything there, so we have to go back. Um, the inventory says what we have in our inventory. We have um, some major health. Just use that up. 
spells. There's none. We used all our spells in, our, in the previous battle, so we got nothing there. Um, and then so we can exit. Yeah, so this is just the start of this game. Um, I think this is like a couple thousand lines of Python code to get this kind of up and running. But you got the basic framework down. Um, so we've got some little water here. You can move around this world. Um, so we get into another battle. Right now, I have it so that... I can just run away from these and there's no cost to doing that. The enemies don't, normally what happens you is when you run away, the enemies get one round of attack on you, but I haven't implemented that yet. I probably will. But, um, and then you got, oh. eh, let's try and take these guys on. Should be able to, um, you can see, you'll notice here that this, uh, this scroll, uh, picture here, I've used that a lot. So it's the same picture for all the menus um, that was just to kind of give a more consistent feel to the game and just because it was easy again I'm going to change kind of all the artwork probably eventually so this guy's almost going to kill us I don't think yeah he's not he, we're almost dead but not quite so one more attack should kill him yeah oh no oh this is good anyway so this is what this is what looks happens uh, when when we die we get a fade out to black press any key we're back to the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, so this is just the first video on this. Uh, as I develop this game, I'm just going to keep posting more. Uh, I've got to quit, quit. Um, I'll show you just what the code looks like a bit. Uh, actually, so these are just all the files. And basically, the game, um, how it works is we move through states. So and examples of states would be like you're in the world map or you're in a battle screen, or you're in a shop. These are just different states, or you're at a game over screen. And what happens is that each state kind of has a previous state and a next state, and based on events that happen in the game, you just kind of move through different states. Um, one of the key pieces of this is the menus. So I actually just implemented some kind of generic menus uh, that I use over and over again. So like in this this menu class here is like for, um, I'll show you. So the menu class is the same. So this is a menu here that's using that menu class. If we go into the game, uh, this is a menu, same menu menu class and then et cetera. So you can see that we're using this, we, we use a, a lot of menus in this game. So I've kind of put it all together as one class. Um, oh, and I should show you think we got a new game yeah so i do have like yeah i have a pause screen haven't implemented the save yet so that actually doesn't quite do anything yet but um yeah and so i have like a, a character a character class and then play there's different types of characters you can be the player that's the main guy that's who you control um or you can be like an npc which i haven't quite implemented yet same idea with shops is shops are different states so you can see it's um inheriting from state the state class is the, the, the base class and so you have a shop and then you have different types of shops like a tavern shop uh, armor shop weapon shop and potion shop and then yeah you just kind of implement those throughout the game um yeah i think that's all i want to show for now um i have a link for to my bitbucket account so if you guys want to like download it and play along uh, if you have any ideas you, you can just uh, leave a comment and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll be posting some more videos as the de as the game develops. Um, and hopefully by the time my niece is like, you know, 10 years old, this game might actually be done and she can kind of enjoy it. Thanks for watching.